Peace, love, and light. This message is for Cancerians. Cancerians, check in to see what's in your energy. Thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. We are on the road to 10K. Thank you for your support in getting there. Personal readings are being done. All information is in the description box as well as the community tab. Let's get into your messages. Okay, Cancerians, checking to see what is showing up for you. Hmm. Okay, messages for Let's see if we can actually leave this out of the way. Messages for Cancerians. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting here that you have um your spirit guides or ancestors that are helping you with something at this time that are lightning lighting lightning <laughs> okay it's like your load is being um, lessened for many of you it may be like a father figure of some sort This is almost giving like an energy of like a fairy godmother kind of thing. Hmm. I'm not sure why I'm hearing like uh, someone that you walked away from maybe coming back or they're trying to come back. Eight of Cups walking away. Three of Cups. Hmm. It's like I'm getting some of you may have gone up through a whole cycle with someone. about this temperance whoa temperance hmm okay so it's it's some female spirit guide feminine energy a lot of earth energy Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. There's that walking away energy again. <laughs> and it's like, except it's like in this deck, right? This, um, this is the way this is appearing. Like it's an, it's an eight of cups energy that's next to a three of cups. And then you have a four of cups, four of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Um, so in this deck, the Eight of Cups comes before the Three of Cups. So this one may be saying someone that you walked away from hmm, could be trying to reconnect with you. And then for whatever reason, over here it's saying that you're walking away from this from a connection and it could be that 
you it could and this magician could be you exercising your willpower to to maintain your distance from someone <laughs> yeah i'm seeing i'm seeing that many of you who walked away from situations maybe exercising your willpower to to stay away from those situations the temperance card may be um some energy that you're getting from your spirit guides to continue doing something Mm -hmm. see it's like the it's like a pass it's a pass that someone's worried about king of pentacles showing up again and six of cups showing up again hmm it's almost like this energy of like some some past that's being mirrored. It's a past that's I'm getting that someone exercised their willpower to escape the, uh, some sort of a connection. It may have been this like seven of swords energy here. Something very deceitful. And I'm hearing that your ancestor is whoever this person is. This may actually be a father figure. This ancestor is helping you to like with your willpower like if you said no then it's no if you i'm really getting that's what it is i'm not getting a yes because of this deceitful energy here it's like this ancestor is helping you to um stand your ground stand firm in your decisions many of you could actually be using this time to regroup and work on your some financial outcomes, healing. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, many of you, like your spiritual team, your spirit guides and your ancestors are all helping you to overcome, you know, some possible, you know, some heavy stuff having to do with like relationships and right now it's about taking time for you and progressing towards your stability um your happiness fulfillment all of that and assuring that you walk into an energy of abundance see now this empress showed up in the beginning and now the emperor is showing up so um i'm seeing also that this willpower that your spirit guides are helping you to exercise it's going to help you to manifest it's helping you to manifest a union yeah it's helping you to manifest a union let me see What's the deal? And this temperance card may actually be, in addition to being your spirit guides, it is also your, um, it may be your person. Okay, tell me about this temperance card.
Mm. Okay. <laughs> Creature of Earth, take charge. Okay, so that energy of the willpower that I was getting earlier, that might be related to some of the work that your ancestors are doing in you. Your ancestors are putting you in a very take charge energy. 39. Okay, so this is equivalent to the Knight of Pentacles. This is you possibly working on some routine, um, helping you to take charge of your finances. So your ancestors and spirit guides may be helping you to take charge of your finances. It says, um, I finish what I start. So for some of you may have started something that's going to lead you to this 10 of pentacles energy and lead you to some new beginning. And that's exactly what you're working on. This one says focus, take responsibility for every aspect uh, of your life. Eventually your hard work will pay off and you will see the success you desire. Be loyal to your own dreams. Patience is required. Slow and steady. Hmm, that that line really like struck a chord. Your is some spirit guides that are teaching you to be loyal to your own dreams. Patience is required. Slow and steady wins the race. Presently, it is about being solid and stable. When you're uncomfortable with emotions, your own or other people's, you are robbing self of experiencing true intimacy. Being vulnerable means allowing yourself to be uncomfortable and still open. Make space for others to be vulnerable with you as well. This ancestor, the animal spirit of earth, that's funny. There's those spirit guides again. <laughs> this ancestor animal spirit is teaching you to take charge. It's known as the sand fox or pale fox. Uh, for the Dogon people of Mali, the fox is sacred animal who works with the divining priest to grant you guidance you can trust. It's the most hardworking ancestor. The creature Earth wants you to trust yourself. Sometimes what's required of us may be boring or repetitive. Stay the course. And the declaration, I finished what I started. So this is an ancestor animal spirit. Okay, this ancestor, and I'm going to call it ancestor spirit guide, um, is teaching you to take charge. Okay, and this is the energy of that willpower, like um, to also, this really is having to do with like, Be, like being loyal to something that you started and knowing that, you know, in due time, if you continue to stay the course, this is what I'm hearing. This ancestor is teaching you to take charge and stay the course. Mm -hmm. And it's going to bring some really positive results for you. Okay, Cancerians, that is the message. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and divine light.